Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to cancel your Disney Plus subscription. So I'm going to do this from a desktop computer so that you can cancel this and not have to pay any more. It's only going to cancel until your next billing date. So you can cancel and then still use the service until that cancellation is complete. And I'm going to show you the full process. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to DisneyPlus.com and then we're going to log into our account. So we'll just wait for that to log in. Then I'm going to type in your email address and then log into your account. Make sure you type in your password and then we're going to go to our actual Disney Plus account. Then we're going to go to the top right hand side here. Then we're going to go to account. So mouse over this profile button and then press the account button. Then we're going to go to the subscription of Disney Plus Premium, brackets annual. You might have a monthly subscription instead. Just click on the one that is correct. Then it says here that Disney Plus Premium Annual is going to be £109 per year. I'm going to be cancelling this because I think it's a little bit expensive. And it's going to be valid until the 22nd of January 2024. So this is 2023 at the moment. So even if I cancel now, I can still use the service. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. So I'm going to press cancel subscription. Here it's just showing us some shows that we can still watch, but I haven't cancelled until I press this button. We'll just wait for that to finish. It says here that we may continue watching Disney Plus until 22nd of January 2024. Here it's got a survey. I'm going to say it's too expensive. Press submit. Thanks for the feedback. Okay, and now we are done. So I'm going to go back to Disney Plus. And uh, basically, we can still use the service. So I'm still logged in. If I click on a show, then it's going to be still watchable. And that's going to be okay. However, once the Billing date ends the 22nd of January, then it means that we can't use the service anymore and you have to have a valid subscription in order to make the use of the service. Now, I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.